Hello, now I had just done a, another video and I thought I have these full metals here with me and um, <laughs> I felt that I needed to show them. Now of course we have the, uh, the Cornflake, C3PO, Thin Red Line, TFC and the Darth Vader. Now I think I called this the uh, uh, Phasma I might have done uh, because of the colouring. Um, but uh, for some reason I could be wrong there. Um, or was it the Darth Maul? I, I'm not sure. I, I find myself keep, I keep calling it the, uh, the original Thin Red Line uh, TFC Porter, which is the, the, the model that it is. And it's probably the, the watch that I do find I keep myself going to. Because it's got the, the white uh, text, um, it, it does, I suppose, give it that more of a sporty look and feel. Um, if I'm wanting to be a little smarter, I, I do wear um, uh, this, which is the, the B5000G with the GD bracelet. Uh, so this is the, 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 the stealth that with the positive display. And, for, and this does actually seem a little more subdued and a little smarter than the TFC because the TFC does have this white text and um, does have the DLC uh, dark silver greyish colour. Um, saying that, I, I do... Hmm, I like them both. There is no point me offering a favourite because there are many times when I put this on uh, because I don't necessarily want the, the thinner red line. Now, of course, we've got the, um, uh, <laughs> the, the golds here that create all the, uh, you know, all the fuss for me and the interest. And I have my TFG uh, 35th anniversary uh, gold, polished gold with the positive display. Now, if you have seen my other videos, um, you might have worked out that this is my favourite uh, G-Shock. And I still don't really know why. Uh, I, I, I like the, the positive display and it's one that I'm going to all the time. And this watch I do wear probably the most often. On my other videos, I have said that I want the, the solid gold version of this. And the truth is I really do because I think I would actually wear it and it would be something that um, even though it's expensive, you know, I would probably really enjoy it. Now, you know, the bodybuilding aspect of it might be an issue because this is solid uh, stainless steel and is about 160 grams. The, uh, the, the solid gold version of this is 300 grams, so it's almost double the weight. Uh, so, so that's where, the, you know, you really would feel its presence. Anyway, this is the ion-plated uh, polished uh, gold uh, C3PO uh, TFG and it, it is totally cool and it seems to be you know the um, uh, you know my uh, uh, favorite most popular watch now of course we've got this new kid on the block the cornflake and the 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 color differential um, uh, you know is an issue for people and here I suppose the the, the color difference is very noticeable now, I've even been told that the links can also vary in color. And you might be able to tell a slight color variation on this bracelet, though it's not enough for it to be a concern for me and I don't mind at all. One thing I do like about this 40th is this recrystallized matte finished case back. And it probably is stainless steel like the rest of the case. But somewhere, I'm sure I heard someone say that it's titanium. I don't think it's titanium because in one of my videos, I've done a, um, a video that uh, shows you the weight of these watches. And the cornflake is, is approximately a gram heavier uh, than, uh, than the older full metal. Um, I initially thought that that might be because of the recrystallization process, you know, may add an extra gram of weight. I am not sure. Uh, I think someone did mention it might be tolerances and variation in manufacturing. Um, I don't know. It would make sense to me that perhaps the additional processing of the recrystallized finishing uh, might add a, you know, a fraction of a weight. And um, I suppose that's still, you know, interesting. It's, a, it's an interesting thing for me to find out. 
But of course it is leaving this colour differential and I know many people don't like it. For some reason I'm not bothered right now. But that is because when I actually got this, I, I actually got it because the bit I wanted most of all was the, was the actual uh, uh, watch head, the actual workings here, uh, because I was thinking about taking off the bezel and the bracelet and uh, fitting the, um, uh, uh, this bezel and bracelet for the 35th. So I actually bought an additional bracelet and um, bezel uh, for the 35th that I was going to use uh, to put uh, this module inside. And I still haven't done that because I haven't really had chance. Plus, I did want to wear this a little more to see how I feel. For some reason, I, I, I'm not too bothered about this color differential. Uh, I think it is a characteristic of the watch and I'm viewing it as a, a design aesthetic, so I, I really don't mind. I, I like the weight of it, I like the way it feels because it does have this um, a soft satin cement uh, feel. Um, I, you know, I was thinking that maybe I would uh, start to um, you know, dislike it when I compare it to the solid gold, but as yet, uh, sorry, the, um, the, the, the polished uh, TF, uh, G here and um, not yet have I got bored of this or, or you know it's not bugging me the color differential I'm sort of enjoying the finish here but when I pull this into play uh, C3PO does seem to still be you know the hot favorite and, and, and is my go-to watch I wear this watch all the time um, if I'm going out um, <laughs> even going shopping I wear this around the house. It, it, it's certainly, you know, my favorite most worn watch at this point in time. The, the 40th Cornflake is definitely getting some uh, wrist time. I am walking around with it. And, um, you know, the, the, I suppose the, uh, the jury is still out on this. Right now, I still like it. And it's making me think I do want the silver one. And the only reason I haven't got the silver is because it has a negative display. And in the past, I've had negative displays and uh, I, I prefer the positive display. One of my thoughts is that G-Shock will actually uh, release the, uh, uh, the, the, the silver with the negative display 40th anniversary. I think they will uh, release another production version of that, but with a positive display. So I was sort of waiting for that. Uh, but right now, uh, gold is my, uh, is my main thing. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I think it's hilarious that I'm into gold watches um, in, in this stage of my life. Uh, and not only the gold watches, but gold G-Shocks. But, but that's just what's happened. Um, I, I'm not going to fight it. Um, I, I seem to be, you know, into, in, uh, in particular, into these four full metal um, G-Shocks. They are, you know, very nice, you know, G-Shocks, uh, of course. But there is something about them that I really do like. And I do wear other watches, but these I keep going back to all the time. And, you know, I think to myself, it would be nice, you know, just to stick with a, with a, a watch type or brand and, and have done with it. Um, so, but, but I am, you know, I am forced to look at other watches also, and I do. And I keep teasing myself, will I find another brand uh, that, that, that I particularly like? I, I mean, I do like lots of other brands, but G-Shock and these squares is definitely, you know, my favorite right now. And I am in the process, I am still thinking about the, um, the MRG Frogman. And uh, of course, they've, they've just released uh, the, the yellow one um, with the uh, titanium bracelet and it has a, a yellow rubber strap. It's incredibly expensive and I think it's too expensive. And then I think I could get the Frogman, but then you know, I will probably you know, want to sell it after a short while and it won't have the longevity that the squares have. Plus, I think there is a chance that Casio will release an MRG uh, version of this. So it will be the titanium gold uh, version. Uh, like the other MRGs. 
And if they did release that, it would put me into a lot of pain and angst, you know, wanting to buy the damn thing. Uh, so I'm having to really think about what I might be able to do and, um, you know, what, what fits with the watches I do have. Anyway, um, this is a, a quick video. I had the, the full metals with me here and I, I thought the lighting might be okay. And I just shot another video and I thought I have to show you these. Anyway, I do hope everyone is well. I, I have to go and um, I will speak to you all again very soon.